Hi everyone, welcome to today's exciting demo video. Imagine being able to create stunning animated videos from just a few lines of text faster than ever before. This is now possible with Animate Diff Lightning, a groundbreaking text to video generation model that combines speed, efficiency and high quality output. We are thrilled to showcase an innovative proof of concept application that transforms text prompts into dynamic GIFs. In this video, we will cover several key topics. The first one would be an introduction to the open source model used in this app called Animate Diff Lightning. The second topic would be a brief overview of the multiple use cases where this application can be utilized. The third topic would be a live demo of the app in action along with a detailed code walkthrough. And the last topic would be the advantages and limitations of this model. So without any further ado, let's start with the first topic, which is an introduction to the Animate Diff Lightning model. This POC uses an impressive open source model from Hugging Face known as Animate Diff Lightning, which have been developed by ByteDance. This model is part of the Diffuses library and is specifically designed for creating animations based on text inputs. Animate Diff Lightning is a groundbreaking text to video generation model celebrated for its lightning fast performance. It can generate videos more than 10 times faster than the original Animate Diff, making it ideal for applications requiring quick turnaround times. The Animate Diff Lightning model uses advanced techniques in deep learning and cross-model distillation to convert textual descriptions into visually appealing GIFs. It incorporates a motion adapter that enhances the quality of animations by ensuring smooth transitions and realistic movements. Let us take a look at the model card on the Hugging Faces website to get to know this model a little bit better. So this is the web page for the model on the Hugging Face website. And here you can see the model card for this particular model. First and foremost, you will see the generated outputs from this model. These are the GIFs that have been generated using this particular model. And here you can see the quality of these GIFs. Then we have a brief introduction to the model where it has also been mentioned that this particular model was a part of a research and the link to the research paper has also been provided. So if you are interested in getting more detailed information about the model and its working, then you can refer to this paper. Then uh, it has also been mentioned here that the model uses advanced diffusion techniques and that it is distilled from Animate Diff SD 1.5 version 2 which is the predecessor of this particular model and also it mentions that this particular model offers various checkpoints for different steps including 1 step, 2 step, 4 step and 8 step models providing flexibility in the generation process. So here they have mentioned that particularly the two step and four step and eight step model is great and that uh, one step model is only provided for research purposes. And then we have the demo. If you want to use this model on an online interface, then the link to that is also provided. You can just click on the link and you will be taken to the interface for the app. Here you can select the parameters like there are several base models that you can use but the only available ones in this particular demo is too new and epic realism and in our POC as well we are using the epic realism model. So let's just select this one. Then we have parameters for motions like do you want it to be default or zoom in, zoom out and all those options. According to your preference, you can choose. We'll just go with the default one. And then we have the inference steps. The step one, as it has been mentioned, it is only provided for research purposes. Apart from that, the two step, four step and eight step models perform great. And we'll just go with the uh, default value that has been selected in here. So now we'll just pass in a prompt and click on run. And wait for the GIF to be generated. See, it took next to no time to generate the result. So our prompt was a group of playful kittens chasing a ball of yarn. And here, see, we have our kittens playing with the ball of yarns. Isn't it amazing that with just a text input, we are able to generate such good quality GIFs. So let's move back to the 
model card. So next we have recommendations for the base models which can be used in the architecture of the model to give better results. So the animate diff lightning works best with stylized base models such as epic realism, realistic vision and two new IMP and so on. Moreover, it has also been emphasized that uh, using three inference steps on the two step model produces great results. And also it has been mentioned that certain base models produce better results. So you can try out each and every and see for yourself which works best for you. Along with that, they also recommend to use motion LoRa's to add motion to the GIFs, basically to produce stronger motion. And that here particularly, they use motion LoRa's with strength of 0.7 to 0.8 to avoid watermarks. Then we see the helper code for the diffusers usage that how you can use this particular model to generate your GIFs and some other specifications as well. Currently we are dealing with the text to video generation but this also supports video to video generation too. And you can check this model card to look more into that. So this was all about the model. Now we move to the next topic which is use cases. So now we will discuss the use cases and who can benefit from them. So if you are a student, then you can use this application in educational projects. Students can use the text to GIF app for creating engaging multimedia content for their school or university projects. Animated GIFs can make presentations more dynamic and interesting. They can also use it for learning AI and ML concepts. By exploring how the app works, Students can gain practical insights into machine learning models and diffusion techniques. This hands-on experience can complement theoretical learning. Moreover, they can also use it in creative assignments. Students in arts and media courses can use the app to bring their creative ideas to life by converting text descriptions into various visuals enhancing their portfolios. If you are a developer, then you can use this application for prototype development Developers can use this app to quickly prototype and test ideas for applications involving text to video or text to GIF generation. It provides a fast and efficient way to validate concepts. Moreover, they can also use it for integration into larger systems. This app can be integrated into larger projects or platforms such as content creation tools or social media apps to add functionality for generating animated content from text inputs. Additionally, it can also be used for learning and experimentation. Developers interested in AI and machine learning can study the app's code and model usage to understand how advanced diffusion models and motion adapters work, gaining knowledge for future projects. Lastly, for businesses, it can be used in marketing and advertising. Businesses can use the app to create compelling marketing materials Animated GIFs generated from text descriptions can be used in social media campaigns, advertisements, and promotional content. It can also be used for content creation. E-commerce platforms can enhance their product listings by creating animated visuals that highlight features or demonstrate use cases improving customer engagement. It can also be used in customer interactions. Businesses can use the app to create personalized content for customer interactions such as thank you messages or special offers making communications more engaging and memorable. The text to GIF app is versatile and beneficial for a wide range of users from students looking to enhance their learning and creativity to developers seeking to prototype and integrate new features and businesses aiming to create engaging content for marketing and customer interaction. By using the power of Animate Diff Lightning, users can quickly and efficiently generate high-quality animated content from simple text inputs, unlocking new possibilities in various fields. Now that we have an idea about the use cases, we are ready to move to the demo. We've already seen one demo in the Hugging Face website where the interface for it was already provided. And now we will see how we can integrate that same model which is available on Hugging Face's website into our own code and generate results. So let's move to the next topic, which is demo. Here we will have a brief code walkthrough and then we'll see the app in action. So let's take a closer look at the code behind this app. 
Our application is built using Python and it uses the diffusers library from Hugging Face along with Grade IO for the user interface. So because of this, we first need to install these libraries, which is being done here in the first cell. So I'll just run it. Then the next task would be to import necessary classes and functions so that we are able to run the following code. And this particular cell is dedicated for that only. Here you can see that from diffusers library, we are importing the animate diff pipeline so that we are able to use the animate diff lightning model. Uh, you can also see that we have also imported the grade IO library in here so that we are able to create an interface in the notebook itself. And then um, some additional functionalities also like IPython display and widgets and all that so that we can easily display our visuals. So now the libraries have been installed. We'll now run this cell to import the necessary functionalities. So now we move to the next step, which is mo model loading and setup. So in here, we set up the parameters for the model. As we've already discussed in the demo section as well, there are four set of steps of inference that are provided to us. That is one, two, four, and eight. The two-step, four-step and eight-step models offer high-quality video generation, making them ideal for practical applications. And the one-step model, while available, is primarily intended for research purposes and may not provide the same level of output quality. So we have set the step of inference in this case to be four, but uh, we can set it to be two or eight as well. And then in the next line, we pass in the path to the repo in which the model is stored. So here we can see that uh, the repo of ByteDance who have developed this particular model is being referenced in here, particularly it's animate diff lightning model. And then we also pass in the checkpoint that we want to use. So this checkpoint is for four step inference. As you can see, we are just passing in the step variable in here. So, so the path to the repo and the model checkpoint has been set and then we come to the base model that needs to be used. In here, particularly, we are using Epic Realism. But at the time of demo, we discussed that there are quite a lot of base models that can be tried out. We can uh, go to this model card and check it out again. We have Epic Realism, Realistic Vision, Dream Shaper, 2, New IMP and so on. So we can choose any of them, but uh, we'll go with the Epic Realism because some base models perform better than the other. And we have seen that Epic Realism uh, is one of the better performing ones. So uh, the base model that has been set in here is the Epic Realism. Then here we pass in the motion adapters. Uh, currently in this particular code, LoRa's motion adapter is being used as it was suggested in here, motion LoRa's. So this is being done in these two lines of code. And then here we are setting the pipeline for the animate diff lighting model. You can see that from the animate diff pipeline, we are calling in a pre-trained model uh, for which we have passed in a few parameters like the base model and the motion adapter. And then here we are going to run this cell again to load the model. So once we are done processing this cell, the model would be loaded and we'll be able to use it. And then we'll come to the next function, which is the heart of this code. That is the generate animation function. In here, we get the prompt. As you can see uh, that it is asking for a prompt and we return a GIF. Okay, so uh, we are doing nothing. We are just taking in the prompt, passing it to the pipeline of the model and getting the output from the model. Okay, so this is what is being done in the generate animation function, you can see that once we are done uh, setting up the model parameters, it's just two lines of code to uh, get this functionality at your fingertips. So this generate function is basically a two line code. And uh, you'll see that we'll be able to generate GIFs using that. Then we come to the grid IO interface here. We are just creating a simple interface using grid IO. So I'll just run this code as well. So we are done running the code. So this is our interface and it is pretty basic. 
we have an input placeholder for the prompt once we enter the prompt in here the output is being generated in the right hand side in this placeholder here so now let's see the application in action we have a few set of prompts we'll pass one of these in here and we submit it you can see here the time that is being elapsed So here you can see this is the GIF our prompt was a cartoon character dancing joyfully which indeed seems to be dancing joyfully let's just try out another prompt so i'll clear this And here we have the result for our second prompt. So our prompt was an enchanted forest with glowing fairies. And we can see that the exact same GIF which is corresponding to the prompt has been generated. We have our fairies and this is obviously a scene of a forest. So the result has been on point with the prompt that we have passed. So this was our app in action. And we have also briefly discussed the code as well. We will now move to the next section which is, which is advantages and limitations. So we will first start with the advantages. The first advantage is speed and efficiency. Animated diff lightning is designed for lightning fast text to video generation significantly reducing the time required to create animated content. The model generates videos over 10 times faster than the original animate diff making it ideal for rapid prototyping and content creation. The next advantage is high quality outputs. The 2 step, 4 step and 8 step models produce high quality videos that are visually appealing and suitable for professional use. The app can generate realistic or stylized animations depending on the chosen base model offering flexibility in the output style. Next we have user friendly interface. The integration with Gridio provides an easy to use web interface allowing users to generate GIFs from text prompts within minimal, with minimal technical knowledge. The app's interface is intuitive making it accessible to a wide range of users including those without a background in AI or programming. The next advantage is its versatility. The app supports various use cases across different fields from educational projects to creative assignments to marketing and customer interaction. It can be used with different base models including realistic and cartoon styles catering to diverse content creation needs. And lastly, it is open source and extensible. Being open source, the app allows developers to explore, modify and extend its functionality according to their specific requirements. 
The use of Hugging Face and other open source libraries ensure that the app is built on widely adopted and supported technologies. Next, we move on to the limitations. So the first limitation is model specialization. The Animate Diff Lightning model is specifically optimized for text to video generation and may not perform as well for other type of tasks or content generation. The one step model while useful for research may not produce the same high quality results as the two step, four step or eight step models. Next, it is resource intensive. Running the text to video generation process, especially on high resolution or long videos can be resource intensive and requires a powerful GPU. Users with limited computational resources might experience lower processing times or may need to scale down their usage. As you could see, when we were running the demo on the Hugging Faces website, the result was generated pretty faster as compared to the result which was generated in the notebook later. Although the difference was not that much, but when we increase the length of the video, then it would reflect. So this was one of the limitations. The next is dependency on base models. The quality and style of the generated animations heavily depend on the chosen base model. Users may need to experiment users may need to experiment with different models to achieve their desired results. Certain base models might require additional fine tuning or adjustments to work optimally with the animate diff lightning pipeline. Next, technical knowledge for customization. While the app provides a user friendly interface, customizing the underlying code and models requires technical knowledge of AI, machine learning and diffusion models. Users looking to modify or extend the app's capabilities need to be familiar with the programming in Python and using libraries such as Hugging Face Transformers and Diffusers. So this is one of the limitations where we can help you. Then we have limitations in video length and resolutions. So the app is best suited for generating short medium resolution videos. Attempting to generate very long or high resolution videos may lead to performance issues or degraded output quality. Users need to manage expectations regarding the complexity and length of the animations that can be generated effectively. So these were the advantages and limitations of the model. Using this model, we can create powerful text or GIF generators. Now we have reached the end of this video and I would like to thank you for watching this demo. If you are interested in implementing this solution or need assistance with similar projects, please feel free to reach out to us. Our team of expert is here to help you bring your AI and machine learning ideas to life. You can visit our website www.codersart.com or you can contact us via our email ID which is contact at the rate codersarts.com. You can also find our LinkedIn, Instagram and Facebook handles in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content and updates. Thank you and see you in the next video.